Hello Scorpio, thank you for watching your May 1st to 15th read. Main read, I'm using the Bonefire Tarot by Gabby Angus West. And for the supportive cards, I'm using the Magical Spell Cards by Lucy Cavendish, if you want to read it or write it up. <coughs> Excuse me. I wasn't even coughing until I started reading today. Although, I wasn't talking as much either, was I? Are we doing a double thing again? Okay. What's up with you? That's interesting. Not too, uh... Not to ruin the surprise, but it ends well. I don't think it's really a bad read. It's just an interesting card here that I was wondering how that was fitting in, but I'm getting ahead of myself here. Um, a lot of action. You got a lot going on here. You're moving, 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 which is interesting. Because I'm wondering, those like Eight of Wands, Wands or Fire, that's usually actually like physically doing stuff. Go, go, go. Go, go, energy. Go, go, go. Which I know some Scorpios, and I seem to think of them that way. Like, they're, they're dynamos. I am so... Some days I'm really jealous. I'm just like, I wish I could go like that, because that is awesome. <laughs> and then they tell me, they're like, yeah, but it never ends. I'm like, well, okay. Sorry. I don't know if that's good or not. I think all the signs have good and bad. I just... It's one of those signs that I really, I really like. I think it's really a good energy there. Very much like it. Uh, of course, my disclaimer, every sign has a good and bad aspect. Um... So it's not like one sign is better than another. I don't want to be like that, but I just tend to notice that one because they're very um, loving and very out there, the ones I've experienced. They're very go, go, go. Very go, go, go. Um, kind of reminds me of Leo in a sense. Leo has a different way of using that energy, but it very much reminds me of that. Why am I talking about Leo right now? No idea. Okay. Now, I am getting kind of like a Leo influence here. Which is interesting. Which makes me feel like you're really enjoying some attention you're getting, but things are kind of like taking a while. And you feel like you're in an old pattern. Old pattern with friends. And you're learning something about what's going on. There's something going on around you that you're trying... Are you trying or are you just figuring out? Figuring out is more. Something around you you're figuring out is not where you exactly want it to be. There's someone you want to hang out with more. I feel like you're, t you're having time. Like, the temperance in this situation makes me feel like you're hanging out with someone. Or somebody. Or some... I feel like it's... For most of you, it's a someone. And I feel like you're enjoying the time. Good times. Um... It's good times. I'm getting that covered though. So I feel like you're enjoying time. Things are kind of like same old, same old. It's not like a new situation. Not really. And I'm getting for some of you, it feels like it's not a new situation. How does that fit in? Kind of like you've known somebody for a long time, but you've maybe just started. They're not really. Like, they're fairly new to your life, fairly, but you feel like you've known them a long time. Yes. That's interesting. All right. So, I'm kidding, kind of the temperance is more saying that there's a foundation here. There's a foundation, um, either spiritual or socially, and that seems to be setting the stage here. Like, I feel like this is... I feel like for some reason with this reading... We're using these two cards and we're setting the stage forward about where all of this is on point here. Very interesting. Um, there's a lot of feminine energy in that card too. I feel like there's a, a strong attraction going on here. 
And I feel like you're unearthing a connection with someone that you weren't really seeing in the beginning, or you maybe didn't realize exactly to what depth it was affecting you. Um, feeling more bound to this person, a lot of hopes and dreams, um, trying to keep things in the analytical sense, trying to think things out. But you're, there's definitely a strong feminine influence here, very loving, very connected. This person, like, even if they've just recently shown up in your life, I'll, they, they're they there, they're like in your heart already. Like, that's what I'm getting. This is where this is stemming from. And I feel like you're spending time with them and you're kind of like, there might be a little like shock about how much they actually mean to you. Either because you hadn't acknowledged it previous to now or like they're really not somebody who's literally been in your life that long, but they feel like they've always been there to you. And it's just kind of like a offset, like, I feel like I've known this person forever, and I'm just kind of like, like you're starting to realize you have very grounded feelings, very rooted feelings for this person. And it's just kind of like, you're kind of like looking at it like, this is interesting. Like, is this a good thing? And you're trying to evaluate like, do I like that I feel this way? <laughs> do I like this? Is this good? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I feel like the other person is very much impressed by you. Um, is this more of a platonic situation? What is happening here with that? Is this more of a... See, that, I feel like that's a question depending on your circumstance. Is this a platonic situation? Question of the day, it seems. That's weird. I'm, I find it weird to say that because I haven't had any other search readings or circumstances today that would make me say that, but that's why it's that's the way it's flying out of my mouth. So maybe that's how you connect to it. You're like, yeah, question of the day. Is this just platonic or not? Um, there's a lot of energy here. The other side very much feels a connection with you too. I feel like there's a question of sexuality here in the sense of like, is there a sexual competitiveness? I feel like there's a question of that. I'll be honest with you, as I say that and it comes out of my mouth, I'm not understanding exactly what we're trying to get at. Hopefully that makes sense to you if this reading is hitting with you. I feel like you're looking at this in a very analytical way, but the person you're connected with, I feel like you do think they are attractive. I don't feel like the other person is like questioning, are they question? I don't know if they're connecting with it in that sense. They're just like really impressed by you. But, like, I'm wondering, like, are, is there really, like, I feel like they, they're just taken in by your energy and your dynamic. I don't know if they're really thinking about it in a sexual sense or in a romantic sense. I feel like you're very, um, it's very dedicated to finding out. And I feel like you might push forward that you do have an attraction to them. You're not sure if they feel the same way. I feel like you have confidence that they like you as a person and that they're very much into your dynamic. I feel like this, there's a very analytical feel to this. Like a very, is this, is that left brain? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, left brain, right brain, I don't know. Right brain's more creative, right? Is that how that works? I don't know off the top of my head, I'll be honest with you. But it's very analytical, very on the books, very write it down, look at it, analyze it way, <coughs> that way. Um, I almost feel like you may be a little cautious just to find out where they're standing, you know, who's in their life right now, how do they feel about whoever they're with, are they looking for someone else? What type of person are they looking for? I feel like you might be like a little investigate, investigatory, investigatory. Is that 
Investigatory? Okay. It sounds so funny to me. Investigatory? I feel like I'm in like a, a, a cartoon when I'm saying that. Investigatory? Like, if, if, it might be that's how you kind of go about it. You're a little, just a little fun. Like, oh, what's going on? Oh, this and that. Oh, really? And that? And oh, what type of people have you dated before? Oh, okay. You're just trying to see how you add up to it. I feel like that's what you're doing. You're just being a little, like, you know, a little fun. Like, oh, not a stressful conversation. Just talking. Doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. But in truth, you're just like, I'm looking for answers. I'm trying to find out if I can fit into this situation. Is there a position open and can I apply for it? <clears throat> like, I feel like you have a playful attitude towards it. I really like your energy here, because I feel like you're just like, I like this person, I just want to see what's going on, and blah, 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 blah. Now, um, the other person very much into your dynamic. I feel like they're connecting with the energy the same way you are in the sense of like, there's a, there's a unseen bond here, at the very least, or there's just like, there's something here. like. You mean a lot to them the same way you, they mean a lot to you. Like there's a there's a definite camaraderie in that sense. And I feel like as you come forward with like you know seeing if there's a, a romantic attraction in any sense, um, there's a little apprehension on the other side. Um, and I'm wondering more off if it's like. In some cases, they're worried about good things going bad in the sense of like they've done something like this in the past where they've gotten along with someone very well and then it went into the next level and then it didn't last. Um, they're afraid of like what it actually means, where it's actually going to go. Is it more of a physical attraction than anything else? Like I feel like there's a lot of concern. I feel like there's a lot of emotional baggage. Um, there may be a mismatch in some cases. Mismatch. Um, I don't feel like I really need to overdefine that. I feel like they'll explain if it's a mismatch, it'll make more sense when you find out the type of people they usually go for, which has nothing to do with you. I feel like it's not anything to do with you personally. There might be a mismatch because there's already somebody else they're interested in. The type of person. The type of person? Oh, okay. Like a sexuality mismatch. Like. Do I want to say? Okay. Like, um. Like, either one of you or the other is same sex oriented and you're not, or they're not, or however that is, or maybe there was some miscommunication thinking they were, or there's just, I feel like in some cases that might be the case. That seems interesting how that's coming through. Because I feel like the other side is very much likes you, but it's not, there's not like the connection like that. And I feel like they're kind of, there's a little weight on their side in the fact that like if they thought it would work out, they would totally go with it. Because I feel like they do like you and they, they very much respect and they feel good being around you. It's just there's a mismatch. Um, it's an interesting situation because I feel like they feel a little... Like they let you down. And it, it weighs on them a little bit. But I don't feel like you came at them straight on that way. I don't feel like you did. I don't feel like you just said like... I don't feel like you came at him in the sense like, oh, we'd like to do this, and if we can't do this, then let's do nothing. I don't feel like that happened at all. But I almost feel like they're worried, like, oh, I can't, f I can't meet the... Like, they feel like they can't make the grade, in some sense, and they're worried about that. And for a second there, it kind of holds them down, but I feel like they just decide, you know what? Let me see how this shakes out. I'm just going to go forward as if it doesn't matter and see how it works out. And I feel like for a second there... I feel like there's past influences that make them feel like, oh, this could be a problem. But I feel like they just kind of force themselves through it and just kind of like see where it goes. They keep communication. They keep going the same way they were going, as in before this came forward, before you like tried to find out, which I don't feel like you did anything wrong in any sense. And I feel like the way you handled it, you handled it very well. And it's something that I feel like it needed to be 
handled. It really did. Like, you needed to do it anyway. You were looking for answers. You got the answers. It, handled, it was handled correctly. I'm not showing a lot of cards here. But this is these are the cards I'm seeing. This is actually the Hermit. The Hermit there, if you want to see them. Um, and granted, while it is the Hermit, this is mostly the way I saw this. Which is the ants. This triangle makes me feel like a lot of left, left brain? Right brain? I don't know. I don't know. Analytical. I feel like it feels very analytical, very on paper, <clears throat> very planned out, sought out. That's what it feels like to me. It really does. Um, but there's fl you'll notice there's also flowers there, which means there's a lot of um, good to be had here, a lot of joy, a lot of happiness. And the Knight of Cups, I feel like he's he, this version of the Knight of Cups, you'll notice the horse is down there below the fog, would you say that was? I would say it was. And I feel like the horse is trying to figure out what's happening. The knight is trying to go for the love, trying to go for the, the beautiful ending. And I feel like that's you. Just, you know, under the underneath it all, you're trying to figure out what's going on. I feel like there's a connection here. There's definitely a connection. I just, uh, I'm feeling like there's a mismatch. However that fits in for you. But it doesn't stop anything. I feel like the other side gets a little nervous, like, oh boy, oh boy, am I, have I, like, since I can't make the grade, is that kind of gonna, gonna damper this situation? Because I feel like they're a little, like, upset about it, only in the sense of, like, other people have walked away before, and because the match isn't there the same way, and they're worried because I feel like they're already feeling a little invested, and, in, like, in the sense of, like, I feel like there's already, like, a, a connection, a, an emotional connection there, and they're a little nervous about it. But it's something it's something on their side that they have to work through, and I feel like you're kind of helping them with this because they keep communicating, <clears throat> and things keep going forward, and, like, I don't feel like it changed how you felt in any sense, and you keep... Whatever was happening before here that you were building this stability, it's continuing forward, and it's very healing for this other person because they were worried that they were only going to be valued in a certain way, and you're, like honing this in like nothing's changed we're fine it's fine it's not a big deal let's just keep going and i feel like it really it's for some they needed something like that for some reason they needed that and it was very healing for them and they're moving forward and i feel like the um energy is moving forward you're communicating with them still um i am there's a i was gonna call it a trio i guess it is a trio you've got three cards here you've got the page of wands You've got the sword. The sword, this is leading out. That one you can barely see is actually the Ace of Wands reversed. And that was the one card in the beginning. I was kind of like, what are we doing with that? They're like, is that a good thing or not? I think basically, actually, in this reading, what it's saying is non action. Things aren't going forward in, in the way you thought they were. But new communication is going forward. This. Whatever, you, whatever, like, if it wasn't, like, an emotional, like, relationship type thing, trying to get that going forward, whatever it was, it needed to be said. And it has really, like, helped the situation focus more on the direction it needs to go. Okay. I feel like this is a very important relationship for you. I do. I feel like it's very important for the other person, too. This is, like over the whole, that's like over that whole piece, that whole uh, page of wands, uh, ace of wands reversed, ace of swords, I can't see the name of it, I don't know, my brain is stopping, oi, I'm going to have to, <laughs> I think it's going to be my last reading for a few hours at least, <clears throat> um, this is over the whole th situation, the joy, so I feel like this is really a good thing, because I feel like you're getting closer, I feel like things are... I feel, I feel like this is solving some things. I feel like it's making communication smoother. I feel like it's making uh, a bond stronger. I feel like this person, you and this person, this is a good thing. This is like, you're supposed to be communicating. You're supposed to be in each other's lives. Um, I feel like it was really good that you did what you did. I don't feel like it was at all bad or like aggressive or demanding in any sense. I really don't. I just feel like the other side was nervous because of past events with other people, with other people that they liked, and things just went, or just didn't, 
just didn't pan out the way they thought they would, and they're a little nervous because they get feelings for people, and even though it may not be in the romantic sense, they very much value and want certain people to stay in their lives, and it kind of becomes a stress point. Um, things keep going forward. The communication gets better. I feel like they're, um, they're doing a lot of emotional work going forward. This is on their side, the Ten of Wands. I feel like they're holding a lot, and they're categorizing, and they're dealing with how they feel, and trying to like make sense of like how they feel and what's real. How they feel and what's real. So got a little rhyming tactic to it there, doesn't it? Um, how they feel and what's real. So I feel like they're picking things up. I feel like it might be a little left and right for a little while. <clears throat> left and right in the sense of like it might feel a little stale at times or it may feel a little contrived. Like they're very much being careful what they're saying and how they're saying it. Maybe a little stifling, but it may like fade in and out with like very emotional, very just letting things fall out of their mouths, just being who they are. And I feel like as time goes forward, it's going to more even out. I feel like they're more like you than you may realize. You may see pieces of it at this point and more and more as it goes forward, you're going to find out they're more dynamic, more, uh, I feel like there's more like a carnival energy there. Carnival energy. Like there's a lot going on. Like there's a lot more to them than you know right yet. Um, and there might be pieces of themselves they keep guarded because um, and it just kind of stops. Because why? They might keep things guarded because they're afraid of how other people will react. Oh, okay. There might be a little, there might be a little more playfulness and um, inner child energy. Like, I feel like they're connected with their inner child a little more than some people accept. Like, how do I put this? <clears throat> I feel like these are the people that are not afraid to color in a coloring book. This person is someone not afraid to color in a coloring book, not afraid to, like, if they want to play with Play-Doh, they're going to play with Play-Doh. <laughs> um, how do I put this? If they want to play with Legos, they'll do that. Like, they'll, they'll, they'll do those things. They'll do funny things. And they don't like how... I feel like there's a little like apprehension, like they're very much a stable person and they take care of life and do things in life that they need to. They pay their bills, they get things done, but if they want to play with Legos, they're going to play with Legos. I don't know why that's coming forward, that is so funny. Like they're not afraid to have some fun and like if somebody else doesn't agree with like, oh it's not age appropriate, if I want to play with Legos, I'm going to play with Legos. I feel like that's how it comes across. Not that they're literally playing with Legos, but like, like if... Like if it's skateboarding, they like to skateboard and say they're, I'm 40, so I'm just, I don't skateboard. But I'm just saying, if they're 40 and they like to skateboard, they're like, I'm going to skateboard because I like to skateboard. Like, I don't care if you judge me, I'm still going to do it. And they might hide things that, like pull whole things back because they're that type of person. I don't think that bothers you at all. But they're a little like, sometimes I do things like that. Like, just people think like, one weird thing I do is I dip potato chips in ketchup because to me they're just flat french fries and some people are like, that's kind of odd. And I'm just like, a flat french fries. I don't get why it's so odd to you. But, like, certain things like that. <coughs> um, I don't know why I threw that out there. But, you know, things like that. And it's funny because I'm seeing, like, in your line, I don't think you'd care in the least. I feel like you'd be the one, like, I'll do that. I don't care. I would do it, too. Like, I feel like that's kind of your energy. Like, if it's fun, why does it matter? I don't care. I'd do it, too. Like, I feel like you'd be more supportive than critical of that anyway. I don't think you'd even care. <clears throat> but there's been other people, I feel like, that sometimes they're just, like, they're not as secure with themselves and, like, anything like that. They may find, they may ridicule a little bit. I don't feel like, they, I feel like this person's not afraid to have fun. They're not really afraid to have fun, they're, but they're more careful about uh, ridicule because in certain relationships, it just seems to last where they, they get ridiculed once and it feels like it comes back over and over and over again. And they just don't want that to happen. Anything else? I think we're good. That was funny. I thought that was great. <laughs> I thought that was great. I don't know who this person is. I like to meet them myself. I think they're pretty cool. Um, I think you're cool too. Because I think, I really don't think you care. But it's just like, it, they're dealing with something from the past. And I feel like your influence is healing their past. Not because you're literally trying to help them like, sort things out but just being who you are makes them feel a lot better about not having to like feel about feel ridiculed or like judged in a certain way like I don't feel like you do that at all and the more they get to know you it brings 
it brings us the security, the self-esteem level for them up because of who you are and how you relate to them. It just gives them more courage to be themselves, not only with you, but I feel like it's kind of having like a effect in their life, if that makes sense. Good, good. I don't know why I need to do this. Okay. I think it's okay. Oh, by the way, I do read the comments. Thank you, everybody who leaves comments. I read them on my phone, which doesn't have the best ability to reply. It takes forever in a day. Uh, cause I like. I was trying to thumbs up them at one point, but I do read them. And thank you so much for leaving the comments. I do read them. I'll just say that fifty times. If you'd like a reading from me, go ahead, shoot me an email, James for Astral at gmail.com. James the number four, Astral at gmail.com. Thank you. Have a good day. Step on my foot that I've been sitting on.